up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Anderson the Spider Silva and Shale Sonnen. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. The American is 35, the Brazilian is 45. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Westland, Oregon, presenting the challenger, Chell Sada. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider Silva! All right, so for the championship, you can give your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. 
Takedown defense holds up. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Took the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. A little single collar tie there. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive rest. Right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Silva gets caught with that punch. Single collar tie. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. It was a There's the double there leg. You go. There you go. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. And he landed the right hand there. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Silva lands flush. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Silva. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He's gonna tag off here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Chael Sonnen, your winner! He got it! What a fight! Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chad All right, so how about this, DC? We have a new UFC middleweight champion, and in this era of the 185ers, this division has never been stronger they're all chasing a new man tonight. One of the toughest divisions in the entire UFC, and right now, he sits atop it. Congratulations to a fantastic fighter.